Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. I hope you guys are doing well. So I recently purchased a decant of the latest creation by Chanel from their Les Exclusives line, which is called Le Lion. Now this fragrance has already launched in the Middle East and surprisingly we were lucky to get it here in Australia through a fragrance store. We managed to get a few bottles to sell to the public. Uh, so Chanel do not stock it at the moment currently here in Australia they will be stocking it sometime next year which is a long wait I know unfortunately but uh, if you do want to grab it earlier there is that option of getting it from this store if you don't mind paying a few hundred dollars extra for it because they are selling it uh, much more expensive than you would find it in a Chanel boutique store but there is that option so today's video is going to be my thoughts on this fragrance. I have given it two full wearings, so my review will be based on that. So when I heard that Chanel were coming out with a brand new Les Exclusive fragrance, I was absolutely over the moon, especially since it's called Le Lion. I love, love, love my big cats. And to me, the sounds of Le Lion was exciting. Um, for a fragrance to be called the lion that makes me think that this fragrance will be a strong and powerful scent uh, maybe leaning masculine and long lasting so that's what i had um, initially thought it was going to be so i was extremely excited i wanted to see how chanel would make this work in their current lineup from this uh, Les Exclusives line because I don't think that any of their current offerings have those types of characteristics at the moment. So I was very curious to try this one. Le Leon opens up with a burst of citrus aldehydic and musky notes. True to the style of the Chanel signature that is present in number 22 and Coromandel in particular. Uh, at first, I thought that I was smelling a cloud of number 22, Coromandel and Queer de Russi, as if I had layered them all together. But this initial feeling changes quite quickly as I make a new discovery of what Le Leon actually does smell like. So 15 minutes in and certain notes of leather, smooth, dry, animalic leather and sweet labdanum start to take over this once bright and iridescent opening and that's when I start to realize that this fragrance is only going to get darker deeper and richer as it develops I was definitely loving what I was smelling in such a short period of time so that was a good thing um, so at this stage I go about my day and I let it settle for another maybe hour hour and a half longer and I start to notice a very familiar smell a smell that I know very, very well, a smell that is quite unique to a, a certain fragrance house, a signature, you might say, of one particular house. And then it hit me. Le Lyon smells exactly like my bottle of vintage Chalamar by Guerlain. So the resemblance is uncanny, especially in the heart stage of Le Lyon. So you get that lovely citrus woody scent that is greeted by leathery vanilla and resinous notes surrounded by a lovely um, ethereal incense, orris and soft warm powder, just like Chalamar. In fact, if I was to close my eyes and smell Le Lyon, I would think it was a Chalamar and definitely not a Chanel. Uh, now I'm only talking about my vintage Chalamar and specifically Eau de Cologne or the uh, vintage Parfum um, or the old Eau de Toilette. So Le Leon is reminding me of these vintage Chalamars in particular. So there is that striking resemblance between the two. Le Leon blooms quite beautifully in the dry down. You get a very warm full bodied cloud of rich balsamic chewy resinous labdanum and amber that envelops some dry smoky leather and woody notes. And you also get a delectable semi-sweet vanilla a light sprinkling of aromatic spice and delicate powdery notes that help sweeten the overall structure of this fragrance and it gives it a well-rounded fluffy approach. The longevity on this fragrance is 12 hours plus on my skin, easily 12 hours plus. 
uh, and it does fill a room with its sillage so it de definitely does not disappoint in that department um, it's yeah it's definitely the strongest one from the Les Exclusives pack so that's a good thing I think Chanel listened to us uh, this year when they did come out with this fragrance because we were always complaining about you know the longevity and the sillage of their fragrances and they don't they don't have lasting power but this one um, they've just come out with a big big surprise for us um, as for the fragrance itself I absolutely love it as I said it does remind me of Shalimar so if you are a, a fan of Shalimar then brace yourselves because you are likely to fall in love with this fragrance Le Lyon is definitely a wintertime fragrance for me as I find that it gives me a feeling of warmth, coziness and it just makes me think of all those memorable family gatherings uh, we used to have as children. Uh, we used to sit around the heater wearing our favourite retro style pyjamas while snacking on some um, spiced cinnamon cookies and tea before going to bed. So it does give me fuzzy, warm feelings, um, so it's a definite warm fragrance and a winter one for me. So that concludes my video guys. I hope you've enjoyed my take on this gorgeous fragrance. Um, let me know if you've tried it and what you think of, of it. Um, and until next time guys, I will see you all later. Bye bye.